Hey, hey everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to extract a unique list from a table in Excel. Just like the one I have on screen here, I've got a bunch of salespeople and their sales during January, and I want to extract the unique list of people from that list. It doesn't matter if they've appeared once, twice, or a hundred times, just the unique people. Then I want to upgrade this function. I want to upgrade the unique function so there's a condition that needs to be met. In this instance, I'm getting only the people that at least sold a printer. So I can change this from say printer to mouse and the table is going to dynamically update. I'll press enter and now it show me all the people where they've at least sold a mouse from this list. Change it back to printer and we'll update it again. So I'm gonna do this very, very quickly, show you how it's done. I just don't want the video to drag on any longer than it should. So just pause and rewind if you need to. So let's get started and extract those first and last names or the unique names from this list on the left. Let's type in the formula, equals unique, open bracket. We're gonna select the range that we want to get the unique list from. In my instance, it's B2 to C149. Close the brackets, and press enter. And you can see there's 10 unique combinations of first name and last name in the list. You can see in first name, there's actually Clio twice. So if I change this slightly and just looked at first name, so B2 to B149, instead of 10 people that come back, there's only nine because there's only nine unique first names in the list. Very simple, very easy. So let's go into the more complex formula where we do a unique function combined with a condition. So let's get started with it. And we're going to start using the filter function equals filter open brackets. This time we're going to filter columns B to D because we want the first name, last name, and we also want to see the condition of met that's met where the product is printer. So we'll go down and select that whole range, B2 to D149, comma. And the next part is what do you want to filter? What condition do you want to be met? So this is D2 down to D149, where it equals you can type in printer in double quotation marks or just reference a cell. I'm gonna reference K2, close the brackets and press enter. Now it's given me a list of everyone who's bought a printer from this, in this main table on the left hand side. But you can see I've got a couple of duplicates. Alyssa Hughes twice, it looks like Poppy's in there twice. So I wanna update this formula and just get back the unique values. So I'll go back in that formula and nest this filter function within the unique function. So I'll go just after the equals sign, equals unique, open the brackets. The array this time is just the array that we got back from that filter function. Close the brackets and press enter. And now it's brought back just the unique names of people who have sold printers. But again, we just want to tidy this up with one last step. We want to remove the printer. We just want to get the names. So that what we can do is nest this again in a choose columns function. So go back to the beginning of the formula choose columns. The array is going to be that resulting formula that we had with the unique and the filter. And at the end, we're going to go and add a comma and bring back column one, which is the first name column, because there's only three columns in this resulting array. And then we also want to bring back column two, close the brackets, press enter. And now we've got the unique names where the product equals printer. And again, we can change this maybe to smartphone. And now it's given us that list. Very dynamic, very easy. I love this formula. You'll get some use out of it. If you like what you see, please subscribe or, or click that like button. It'll really help the channel. Hopefully you enjoyed. See you next time.